Army Corps of Engineers researchers in Vicksburg have come up with a new type of water filter and they used shellfish to do it. WJTV's Griffin Hardy has an exclusive look at this new technology. Having clean drinking water is the most important part of living in a civilized society. The downside is water purification is currently an expensive process. A new synthetic known as graphene oxide has been at the forefront for potential materials that could be used for future water filters. One challenge scientists have faced is being able to create filters large enough to be usable in everyday life, a challenge that the Army Corps in Vicksburg has overcome. One of the major breakthroughs that we've had here is that with our casting process, we're not limited by size. Everybody else in the research area is able to collect data at a laboratory scale. We can actually provide a path to commercialize these or actually make them for full-scale manufacturing and processing. These filters have been found to effectively remove a number of different contaminants commonly found in drinking water. It, what is known is that it is antimicrobial, so it has a disinfection aspect to it on the surface. And so, so anybody who's experienced water shortages or has been concerned about their water quality or any type of contaminants in their water, this, this type of technology certainly uh, works to address that. According to the Corps, nowhere else on Earth have scientists been able to scale these types of filters to this size. And that's happening right here in Vicksburg. We really bridge the gap between lab laboratory work and field scale work. So we develop prototypes not only at the laboratory scale, but also at the field scale. Here in the lab, researchers use dyes to compare the effectiveness of the new filter. Of all the dye has been removed after passing through the filter, so too have any contaminants. The Engineer Research and Development Center currently has two patents associated with the new filters and hopes to apply them for both civil and military purposes in the near future. Reporting in Vicksburg, Griffin Hardy, WJTV 12.